Praise God. Good morning and welcome everyone to this morning prayer service. Let us pray together. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this beautiful day. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Spirit of God, lead us to the truth. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us do the surrender prayer together. Hide me in your holy wounds today. Lessen my desires to be known. Cut short my desire to be loved. Uproot the evil desires within me. And the powers of evil coming against me today. Help me to live today close to your holy will. Fill my heart with your love. Loving God, I surrender my mind, my heart and my body. You sit for your eternal glory today. I surrender every single child of yours who is struggling just like me. Wash and immerse us into the ocean of precious blood of Jesus and fill us with the Holy Spirit. Let us witness your love on the earth. Amen. Let us read God's word. Book of Numbers chapter 5 verse 5. Book of Numbers chapter 5 verse uh, Chapter 5, verse 5 and 6 and 7, 5, five to 7. <clears throat> the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to the Israelites, when a man or a woman wrong, wrongs another, breaking faith with the Lord, that person incurs guilt and shall confess the sin that has been committed. The word of the Lord Thanks be to the Lord. Dear loving children of God, we have heard about uh, the God, book of Numbers chapter 5. It's all about unclean, uncleanness, basically uncleanness of a person. Hope you had a wonderful reading and reflections of your own. The word I have taken, verse 5 to 7, it, is, it clearly says, when we do mistakes, Sin is quite common. We make errors. We make mistakes. But God reminds the people of Israel. God reminds me and you today. When we commit sin, there will be a kind of diminishing of our faith towards God. God is a merciful God. God loves me even though my sinfulness. Of course, he hates sin, but he loves sinner. But what happens within me, within you, when we commit sin? When we commit sin, we don't feel that closeness towards God. It's not about God's closeness to me. My, my, I feel because of this guilt within me, because of this sin's effect and sin's uh, side effect or we can say consequence within me, I feel kind of distance from God. That's why it is used when you do or wrong anything breaking faith with the lord breaking the faith actually we we after committing sin we don't feel so close to god that's it and then the solution god spoke uh, spoke to us the solution is this you shall confess all your sins that you have been committed brothers and sisters when we make mistakes or when we do wrong or when there is sin within us which is committed, it is good that we go for a very good, contrite, repented, sacramental, and genuine and sincere confession will definitely help us. I remember St. Faustina used to share. She says, a big miracle takes place at the time of confession. She used the word big miracle. It is not only about a physical healing. I have seen a lot of physical healings immediately after confession. But what, what she speaks about, big miracles 
she speaks about the conversion of heart. You know, that conversion of interiority of one's life. So brothers and sisters, keep two things in our mind. When I do any sin, we know that sin never helps. It disturbs us. So keep in mind, breaking the faith with the Lord is happening there. And second, it is the only way to solve that is confess our sins to God with a repented heart. Heavenly Father, we offer all our sins and we ask you to forgive us. Thank you, Lord, for understanding us. Thank you, Lord, for being merciful to us and our deeds. Let us do this healing and deliverance prayer, offering our bad habits and addictions of life. Father God, we believe and profess that you are all-powerful God. You always listen to the prayers of your children. We surrender the totality of our life today, asking your healing hand upon our body and soul. Let there be healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I command in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. All evil powers which trouble us by the merit and the power of the most precious body and blood of Christ, let those evil powers move to the foot of the cross. Never come back to us again. I'm the child of the Father. I'm the body of Jesus Christ. I'm the temple of the Holy Spirit. I belong to heaven. Devil, you have no right and authority over me. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us remember every single prayer request in this channel yesterday and this morning. Also offering all those who requested our prayers. And we do remember with all love and respect our parents, our siblings, your spouse, your children. Remember them and say a small prayer with full of your consciousness. Just pray for them. We do remember all the departed members of our families. Lord, grant them eternal rest. <clears throat> For the sake of Jesus' sorrowful passion, have mercy on us and on the whole world. A Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. Blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Today's intention, let us remember the sick and suffering from our own families. Some are maybe in hospital, some are bedridden, you know, whatever, offering all the sick and suffering from our own families. Abba, Father, fill my heart with your love. Jesus, Master, fill my heart with your grace. Holy Spirit, anoint me today. Let us claim Psalm 91, the assurance of God's protection and providence upon each one of us throughout this day. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Pray after me. Sacred Heart of Jesus, the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I consecrate my life to the most holy love of your two hearts. Keep me faithful until death. Bring me one day to the happy home in heaven. There I enjoy with the triune God forever and ever. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Vincent de Paul, pray for us. St. Mary Immaculate, pray for us. St. Michael, guard and protect us. Our guardian angels, guard us. Brothers and sisters, today's our Bible reading, Book of Numbers, Chapter 6. Book of uh, Numbers, Chapter 6. All those who are newly joined, you are most welcome to this channel. 
offer your personal intentions of today, whatever it is, offer it. And let us go to Jesus getting his blessing. receive his blessing. Brothers and sisters, I invite everyone to uh, participate in that one minute of sharing this prayer service with all your contacts. So, so that through your instrumentality, many receive this prayer and these short blessings. Have a blessed day, brothers and sisters. Keeping you all your intentions in prayers because the second day of the retreat at Divine.